Hey guys, how's it going? This is iTechnity and today I'm showing you how to download torrents on your iDevice and add them to your music library without the use of a computer. Obviously you need to be jailbroken for this. I'm on 8.1.2 and it all works fine so I'm sure it'll work on lower iOS's as well. Uh, you can do two packages of Obsidia, one being Bridge and one being iTransmission. You can also do with iFile, it helps but you don't need it. So like I said, the first package is iTransmission. I'm using iTransmission 4 which is compatible with iOS 4 to 7. As it says here, I'm on iOS 8 and it still works fine. This is what you need to uh, download your torrents and the other one for transferring music is Bridge which is $1.99 from the Big Boss repo but available on the Big Boss repo so you don't need to add any sources or anything but once you've got these two downloaded you want to go to Safari or whatever browser you use and you go to your torrent website of choice I'm using Kickass Torrents as a proxy and for this video I'm downloading Live Love ASAP which is a free mixtape so it's not like illegally downloading stealing money or whatever it is a free mixtape and whatever website you're on you want to click on a magnet link which is just this one here once you click on it, it will open up iTransmission and begins to download. Sometimes it doesn't download straight away, so you might need to find a new link, find a different website, different proxy, whatever, but eventually it will work. Um, I've already got this video, um, already got this album downloaded even, for the sake of the video. But once that's downloaded, you know, it will be done. So you want to head back over to Bridge. And once this loads up, it's pretty simple. You just want to click on Files down here, and this shows you where your downloads are. You want to go Documents, Downloads and you have a list of what you've downloaded here and there it is at the top and they all here, the whole album and you want to go options select all and import and then from here you can edit the name of the songs, edit the track numbers uh, you can put album art on, I haven't got the album art but simply you, know, you do select image and it comes up with all your folders uh, albums as well and from here I'm just going to show you an example so I'm going to take out every song here has got 01 in front of it I'm just going to take out the 01 or oh, got numbers in front of it even, I'm going to take out the 01 on this one just to prove that the editing one does work and you can do this for all of them, add your album art like I said change the artist, genre and all that, so once you want to click import and it doesn't take very long, a few seconds, under a minute normally, hopefully for the sake of the video it's as simple as, as that once this is done right there we go, it's finished importing and I did mention iFile earlier and I'll show you what you can do, sometimes when you download a torrent it does include the cover so instead of having to you know, go and save it, you can just go on a find the same file director, a direct directory, uh, go ASAP Rocky, there it is, and you've got the cover there, and you click on it, image viewer, and you simply click on the folder, which is the third one in, and it will save it to your music library, and you can add it like I said on Bridge. If you've done all of that, all you want to do is go into your music library, and the album will be there. Um, for some reason, what am I using? I'm using this program here, which is Display Recorder, I think it's called. And for some reason, when I go into music, it cuts out. So there's going to be no order when I go into the music. But I'm just going to go on there and show you the album is in there and it plays and all that. I'm probably not going to play. I'm just going to show that it's in there. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. Hope this helped. Uh, remember to comment, rate, subscribe and all that. And yeah, thanks for watching. Cheers.